welcome back everybody. I um, finally got all of the quest requirements for um, bringing home the bacon. So, sorry, still sniffly today. Anyway, I thought if I would get started on this quest, I have to go out this way, okay. Get started on this quest and, and uh, show it to you guys. It's, um, not horribly long as I remember. It's kind of funny because when I bring up the in the thing for it, if I filter all the way, oh, it's way out of my level, uh, suggestion, but, um, but I'm going to do it anyway. So, um, yeah, I have everything that I need to do the, to, uh, level-wise to do the quest. Is. Hey there, what's that delicious smell? I don't know if this is voiced or not, so... Oh, that's uh, something I'm working on. All right. Hey, you look like you've done some farm work in your time. Are you free to help me out? And what is it? Bleh, sorry, guys. And what is it you need me to do? I just need you to eat some of this meat I've cooked up. That's not suspicious at all. Oh, it's not from a person or anything like that. I just need you to give it a taste and tell me what you think. Okay, so here we are with our quest. We're going to accept it, of course, because that's what we're here for. Okay, I'm game. As long as it's not human or anything. Wait, why did you think I would assume it was from a person? Eli gives you a delicious smelling strip of meat. No reason. I thought you might have heard about that accident. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, scarf that down and tell me what you think. Hmm. Well, let's scarf that down. Mysterious, mysterious meat. My mouth is filled with joy, let's say. My mouth is filled with joy. What was that? That, my friend, was a new type of meat I've discovered. I call it bacon. Bacon? Bacon? Why did you call it that? Does it come from a creature called a bay or something? No, I named it after myself. Eli Bacon. Bacon like my last name. That's what all the great people do. Wow, no need to get happy, guy. Oh, sorry. Uh, so what is it then? What would you say if I told you it was from a pig? A pig? Uh, why would anyone want to eat one of those? That's a good question. Well, it's a long story. But let me ask you something first. What would you say pigs are good for? Well, they aren't kind of cute in there. Their little twirly tails are adorable. Ceremonial greased pig wrestling. Obviously. First thing that came to my mind. And what else? Well, you could, I suppose, maybe they could... Exactly. Aside from pig wrestling, they're useless. They're just big, smelly animals that eat loads of food. Oh, even pig wrestling is in decline thanks to all these new sports like castle wars and dueling. Thanks to all these popular pastimes, there's no demand for pigs. I think only me and Martin keep them these days. I think that's true. And he only keeps them because of the tourist money generated by his freakishly large pig, Pigzilla. Basically, if people find out that pigs taste delicious when cooked, how long do you think it'll take to eat them all? I just look at what happened to those useless no-horned unicorns that were all over the place a few years ago. 
When people worked out they tasted good, they were wiped right out. I suppose you're right. But what can we do about it? What we'll do is get people wanting pigs for something other than meat. After all, people keep cows around for milk and sheep for wool. Well, if we can convince them pigs are good for something, then they'll start breeding them again. Once the numbers are back up, we can reveal the tasty truth to everyone. By that point, there'll be enough pigs that people can eat as many as they want. Okay. That sounds like a great idea. How are we going to do that? I have a plan. What we're going to do is... <gasps> oh no, we don't get to find out. Hey, what's that sound? What sound? Who are they? Those are some of the locals. They know about bacon. Why would you tell them? I gave a few of them a taste and now they're addicted. They're crazy. They're so creepy. Of course, so are the pigs that are over here all cleaned up. <laughs> really weird. Don't worry. So long as you lock that gate behind you, we should be all right. That might be my fault. Did you hear that? They're gonna eat me! <laughs> I think they might be after the pigs, not you. <laughs> er, yeah, that, that does make sense. Wait. They're buttering up the pigs for roasting. We have to stop them. Poor piggies. But how they're just standing there is creepy. Well, what can we do? Try making some pig decoys. Those lunatics are too far gone to tell the difference. Here, take this big stack of bacon. You'll need some planks too. Let's go. All right, let's go. Do this. I can't try and build something out of these to distract them. That's the I ticket. Can't rescue now cover it in bacon as a diversion. I can't rescue this pig. Um nom nom. Nom nom nom. Stop eating <laughs> more. You give me more. More. Give me more. More. Right, give me like more. Like I can't yeah. stop. Of eating. The pigs. I should head down to a cellar and speak to him. More. Apparently, that'll happen automatically for me. Good work. While they're eating that bacon, we can get this show on the road. What do you mean? You remember I said I had a plan to drive up demand for pigs. Well, this is it. What we do is, we raise an amazing pig. I mean, a real monster. One that people will come from miles around to see. Then, we train it to do some sort of trick. We show it off to all kinds of folks, and they go nuts for pigs. And before you know it, demand for pigs will soar. That does sound like a good idea. And then, BAM! We bring out bacon and make a fortune. But if everyone has pigs at that point, how will you make money from selling bacon? 
Well, it is called bacon. I'm sure that legally they'll have to pay me money when they start making it. Oh, he sent off a form and promised to hand over lots of money to secure the rights to call pig meat bacon. Huh, it can't fail. What could go wrong? I know. All we need to do is work out what a pig is good for. Any ideas? Maybe they can fight. Maybe they can carry an altar. Maybe they can carry items. I don't have any ideas. I am going to go with the items idea. But how will that get people interested? Pigs are rather big, so they can probably handle quite a few packs and bags. That's really handy for adventuring. That's a good idea you had there. I guess you're smarter than you look after all. Uh, thanks, I think. So what now? Now we need our show pig. Go have a word with Martin in Draenor. And see if he'll let us have a piglet from his big old pigzilla. Will do. You can always find him by his pigsty in the marketplace. Just head southeast from here and you'll find him in no time. Thanks. Um, I think I should go. Right, see you later. Closing in all the bacon addicts with their pats of butter, except I closed myself in two. How does that work? <laughs> well, you're supposed to be able to do that, but apparently I can't. It's alright. We'll just leave all the... We'll leave the gate open for all the addicts. It's okay. We can come butter some cows instead. Cheap dog. <clears throat> oh, leave me alone. Just because you're higher level than me. <laughs> Go talk to Martin. There's Pigzilla right there. Into the gate. Come on. Go in. Close the gate. Talk to Martin. Skill cape of farming. So he's where you get the skill cape of farming if you get the high enough level. General chat. Bring home the bacon. Martin, can I have one of Pigzilla's piglets? Why would you want one of them? Are you thinking of starting a pig farm? If you are, then be warned. The bottom has really fallen out of the pig wrestling game. If you are, then be warned. The bottom has really fallen out of the pig wrestling game. You'd be better off investing in a cow. It's not for me. It's for Eli Bacon. We're planning something that will increase interest in pigs and need an impressive piglet to do it. Oh, that is good news. I suppose I could give you a piglet if that's the case. Fantastic. Just put it in my backpack and I'll be on my way. Hold on there. I need you to do something for me first. Dang it. I knew there was a catch. I don't know who it is, but someone has been picking my pockets. You don't say. Oh no, who would do such a dastardly thing? I think it was one of those dodgy types over to the west. I want you to find out who did it and give them a thrashing. You mean kill them? No, that's a little too much. Just give them a good kicking and I'll give you the piglet. Seems fair enough. I'll get right on it. Remember, one of them will be lying about where he was when it happened. Just find out who doesn't have an alibi. If they can't tell you truthfully where they were when I was robbed, they must be the culprit. Hmm. 